welcome back to my channel long time no see I know I'm really sorry about <laughs> I am sorry about it um but <clears throat> my voice just cracked oh my god anyway long, <laughs> long time no see I am really sorry about that life has just been so busy like I was like I'm gonna get on a schedule I'm gonna do this I feel like I'm a bit lopsided as well because you guys are actually on a tripod but this tripod's on my bed don't ask why we're not gonna get into that right now it says you're even so i'm gonna say that you're even um uh, yeah life has just gotten really busy <clears throat> at the moment like with school and family and everything like that and i'm focusing on me at the moment so anyway it's all just a bit of a whoo but there is a but um i have got some really cool videos planned out um one of which will be is this one that will be up this week it will be up it will probably go up tomorrow what day is it tomorrow it's friday tomorrow it will probably go up tomorrow because i can edit it tonight because it's not going to be a really long one then i've got one that's going to take a long time because it's a project me and my friend are doing and i want to film the behind the scenes of it but that is like gonna take a while to do um and then i got some new makeup today and i've already done my makeup with it but i love it so i want to do like an updated makeup routine because yeah i just want to do an updated makeup routine because my makeup is so different to how i was doing it say even in january to like now here we are in may it's so different already so that being said i'm going to do that too so i have got some videos planned that are going to be filmed over the next couple of days so i will have like video for friday and then a video for tuesday as well so stay tuned for that but today is going to be what i'm packing in my photography box for um i don't know if you can hear that and i don't want to put any of this online yeah so this is going to be what i pack in my photography box so this is the box i use for everything this is what i store my cameras in my tripod that I'm using right now, the camera that I'm using right now, other lighting, batteries, SD cards, all of that stuff, backdrops, is kept in here. But for photo shoots, I ch will change it up. So, I'm doing a newborn photo shoot of my cousin for my aunt and my uncle. I'm doing it for them, and then, like my cousin, other cousin's going to be there, which is their other child, who is also my cousin, will be there, obviously. Um, but yeah, we're going to do that. I'm doing it Wednesday afternoon, so in like a week, but I'm so excited. I want to show you what I'm packing in this box. Um, so yeah, obviously I don't have a studio. I don't, this isn't a profession. It's just a side gig, if you will. Um, but I want to talk through what I've got and I will leave some really useful videos that I've watched down in the description if you want to do this at home, like recreate your own stuff at home or do it for a family friend or whatever so yeah let's just get into it because i've rambled so much so um yeah like the first thing i do is go ahead and empty this box and um, though it is organized in a way that i like it to be organized but i just want it all out because we're going to start fresh with the box so taking out like all of my like mini tripods because I'm using my big tripod right now. My mini ring light, SD cards, all the wires, cameras, readers, and I have this, which is gonna be for consent forms because I want people to consent to me using their child as an advertisement tool. So that will be for admin eventually, but we're not there yet. <laughs> okay, this box is empty. It is pretty big, as you can see. It's got handles on either side. I bought this years ago from Forever 21 before it closed down. Um, and we went in there for one box and then we literally went to go like two or three weeks later and it had closed. 
So I only have one box, which is fine. We make do. So the first thing I'm gonna want is my white backdrop. I am going to iron this before we go um, and then fold it neatly. Obviously right now it's just folded to fit in the box. But this is just a white bed sheet. It's a double bed sheet from B&M. I brought it for a backdrop for school photos. Um, and it's really good, you can just use it. Now I've like, I've put Ribena on this, I've put food coloring on this, I have thrown flowers, fruit on this, and it comes off really easily, just wash it. But if you are a bit worried, I will, I'll insert a picture of it. My mum brought this the other day and it works wonders with getting stains off. You literally spray it and wash it how you would and the stains just come off. So that is something I would also recommend if you are doing a messy sheet. But obviously I'm not doing that. So yeah, I just want this to go in there, in the base, because it's one of the bulkier items. Now this is all of the stuff I have for baby photography. It came the other day. So this is a prop that I'm going to be using. This is literally how my, ne my nephew, I keep calling him my nephew, he's not my nephew. My cousin is small enough to fit in this if we put pillows and like sit it up so he can kind of look like he's sat in this. That's how small he is. So yeah, we've got this. This isn't obviously gonna go in it because it's got a handle on it and it doesn't fit so but this yeah but this is going to come with us it will just sit on top of the box um another prop we've got is like another little basket but we gave that to them with um like his baby stuff in it so like the stuff we brought him is preemie outfits um other outfits cards etc which is small it's not huge it is quite small well, it is huge, but it's, it's it's like a decent size. So we're also going to put him in that too. So we've got two props there. And then we're going to go to B&M at some point as well. And buy one or two other things to use well. potentially if he is now too big for the basket. Just so we have a few little other bits. But I will like insert pictures or footage of them now. Actually, no, I won't. If we go to B&M before I upload this video, I will. If not... Follow me on Instagram because I'm going to create a photography highlight. Um, yeah, I'm going to create a photography highlight. So go follow me on there if you want to see everything I'm taking. And there will also be some behind the scenes stuff on there from this shoot too. So go ahead and check that out. Okay, next are the wraps. So I got these off Amazon. This one's stretchier than this one. And this one actually came in a set. So this came with a fluffy rug and this. Um, this is slightly stretchier, but they're both cheesecloth, so it doesn't really matter to me. But yeah, let me just go ahead and show you. This is the blue stuff. I don't know how far I got. But yeah, it comes with a headband. So when I do a photo shoot with some little girls, or something this headband's an option if they want a blue sword because it's a very pretty color but the next shoot i have planned for a little girl um that's already like booked in is in september um and i think they want to go pink and frilly so yeah and this is just the pattern on it so and then my gray one which again has been washed this one is slightly different i'm gonna have to double back on it stuff otherwise it's not gonna focus on anything yeah and see the the look of it is slightly different um but i don't know i think we're gonna swaddle him in both like in a mixture of like blue and gray um so i just wanted to have both that ready then this which is another backdrop so you would have your main backdrop and then say this 
and then have baby on top of this. It's just like a faux fur rug. And it's grey, so this is just going to be folded up. Like I said, this and this came as a set. So, yeah. so then this is going to be folded as well and go at the bottom. So let me just show you how it's packed so far. I have got my white sheet backdrop at the back. This I am going to, like I said, iron and stuff. Then I've got swaddle number one. Swaddle number two right here and then backdrop number two there. We've got two outfits for baby. I say we, me and my mum. She's going to be my assistant. Uh, we've got two outfits for baby and then mum and dad have got some outfits for baby. Because he's so little, um, this is a challenge. He is... When I last heard, he was three pound six, and when I when I held him, he was three thirteen, and then he went to three six. Um, so he's in he's about four pounds now. Been like another week since. Um, yeah, he's about four pounds. So bear that in mind when I say these are going to be too big on a newborn on an average size, six to eight pound newborn. These will be okay. But we have got a plain white hat. A plain blue hat um, and then we have I've got some ideas but we don't have to have outfits or hats in either um, again you know so the first one we got is this grey one now this can be versatile I think to boy or girl with the hat um, again you could just have them in like white bottoms or grey bottoms or no bottoms and just have the little grey hat and have them like on a pink background or something so this is the hat, it's just knit and then it's got little, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, like this, they're like plaited together, little bits, and then the bottoms as well, which are going to be huge on him, like these are like the length of his body, so these are going to be huge on him if we put him in these. We probably won't. We can, we have managed the hat and like say pin and stuff. Um, but yeah, these little bottoms. So obviously I'm saying, showing you these outfits because these are what I'm taking. But obviously it's completely up to you, your theme, parents theme. Like I said, the next shoot I'm doing for a little girl is going to be pink frilly because it's good. And like, like I said, they're going to change every time you do a shoot or you might have your basics. So for every boy I do, I think this is a good, or even every girl, but I would say every boy I do, take these because they're just so versatile. Then the second and final outfit I'm taking is a fun one. Now, um, my cousin used to love us reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar to her when she was little. So for her brother's baby pictures... We've got this. Now, let me talk you through this. This hat is going to be ridiculously huge on him. So I don't know if we're going to manage this hat on him at all with any of the pinning that we do just because of it. Like it would literally have to sit like this on his head and it would probably look a little bit silly and a bit scary. So I'm not sure about this. The hat. But this we can definitely use. So it's like, again, knitted. And it's like greens and blues. And it's a sack. So, again, this is literally like as long as his legs to his head. But we can just kind of go ahead and wrap this underneath him. Put him in it. Kind of roll it so it looks a bit like a sleeping bag kind of vibe. Um, but yeah, the colours are cute. And they go with like the cold grey thing. Um, like the white backdrop and grey and stuff so I have got this and like I said this is for more like kind of fun pictures um then we've got my prop pillows so I am missing one but I feel like my dad's dog has probably chewed that up this is an absolute muffet right so there is a smaller one that I'm missing but I won't use that one anyway so it's okay so first off I have this long one that you could have as a long one or you can roll up into a little ball again it can go smaller it can go bigger basically just however the heck you want it. it can be big enough for a bigger baby and like kind of have their head propped here but it can also be like made for a smaller baby too so that is like going to sit on the top 
Um, so, bigger cushion is going to go on it. And then there is four other pillows. Like I said, there is another smaller one, but I'm not taking it. Um, because I think it's it's literally like half the size of this. Which, I mean, if I was going to do close-up of his hands, it'd be alright. But I feel like this is going to be alright as close-up of his hands as well because of this. And it will really, like, kind of show. Anyway. These for supporting sides of the head. Chins. Bum. Like, if you want, if you want their bums to be slightly up more. All of that it's good for. And again, it will make cushioning in here very nice for baby too. And it and it just supports their body. And again, bigger, smaller. Again, if I want him to like hold something to like take pictures of his fingers or his hands, I've got that. And yeah, just different sizes. This is like almost the length of him, so I don't know if I use this for propping him up and stuff, but yeah and these will go underneath the white backdrop so then you'll have the white backdrop and then this and i will have a couple of other blankets as well underneath the white backdrop because we're going to probably take them on mum's bed um so there will be like stuff underneath as well if that is not an option for you then i would say have a bean bag you can take and then a couple of um extra blankets they can go over your bean bag underneath your main backdrop So these cushions are just not going to be shoved in randomly but shoved in so that they fit okay so when it comes to cameras i've got two that i'm going to be taking my sony a300 which is bigger and bulkier has a large sd card compared to my canon i'll show here but the quality of close-up shots for this is so much better than my canon purely because the lens I have for it is different than the lens I've got for this camera. So yeah, this is the camera and the lens that I'm going to be taking. Now the thing is, this is a bit bulkier than normal, like the normal ones of these, because it has this here and then it has an adapter here, which is actually where you put the tripod, but then it's got another little thing here for tripods anyway. Um, so that when you turn it this side, you don't have to have your hand like this. You can just have your hand like this. Um, and I'm going to be taking my Canon. I'll like insert a picture or a video of it or something. Um, it's a smaller one. It's a EOS M10. But it's what I used to take the majority of my photos on. Just because it is so crisp and sharp. And for baby photos and photos with siblings. Especially siblings like my cousin. Sharp, quick is better. Because it has a quicker shutter speed time. I can do a quicker shutter speed time on here than I can my bigger camera. Um, and I am going to be taking battery and ch battery, spare batteries, but also the battery chargers. Just because I'm going to be switching between the two anyway. Um, so if one does need to be charged, I can just go ahead and do like close-up shots and stuff if I want to, etc. And I'd rather have it um, and not need it than not have it and need it. Then, like I said, I'm going to be using my Canon EOS M10. I'll insert a picture. It's got a detachable lens and everything. And, yeah. Um, so, the Sony camera is in this box. Because the camera bag I currently have, which is just a case logic one. I need to get a bigger one. But this is just the camera bag I have at the moment. It's just small. It fits everything I need for school in it. So, my Canon EOS M10. Charger. And then the side pockets I can put in extra SD cards, SD card readers. Um, I take two to school. I take one for my Mac and then one for the big computers at school. Um, in case I want to use those, need to use those, a friend needs one. Do you know what I mean? So it fits a lot in here. So then my Canon charger, battery, SD cards. I'm going to take two 32 gigabyte SD cards. God knows if I'm going to need both of them again. Rather have them, not need them, than need them and not have them. Okay, so this is what the box looks like. Please ignore the rest of my bed. It is literally dirty because it's got everything else, like the packaging. And then everything else that's normally in here is currently out here. So we're just going to go with it. So this is what it looks like now. It still closes and I've got a bit of room that I could actually put some more stuff in if I wanted to and or needed to. I'd probably get away with like another coloured backdrop in here, a couple extra swaddles, hair bows, etc. All of that. But pillows, camera, 
chargers again underneath is outfits backdrops all of that just snazzy stuff and then the good old handy dandy ring light will be coming too and like i said i need to get a bag for that but yeah thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you want me to do any more like photography stuff then let me know i guess i'm not a professional photographer just pointing that out just a teenager who does it as a hobby uh let me know down below other videos you want to see like i said i've got a makeup routine coming not that it's that interesting and i've got another exciting video to film that will take me forever to edit but i'm really excited to film um and then another video that will take again the other one will take longer to edit and not very long to film the other video that i'm talking about the one with me and my friend is going to be a long process because you're going to be following from start to finish so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you leave a like <laughs> make sure you leave a like and subscribe down below so yeah thank you so much for watching and i will try and be more consistent with my uploading but just bear with love you guys bye